It's November 2nd. I'm Parker Hara. And I'm Jacob Latimer. Here with this year's sixth episode of the CCN. Today we'll go in-depth on the fall drama. Also coming up is another installment of What's the Rage with Gage and Cage since we left it out last week and TV and streaming service edition of Colonel Critiques. We will also have our sports update brought to us by Isaac Thatcher. On top of that, Jacob Latimer and I will tell you everything else you need to know such as important school announcements. It's time for the CCN. It's time for some school announcements. Seniors Balfour will be here to take the cap and gown graduation announcements and accessory orders on Thursday, November 9th and Friday, November 10th during lunches. Please be prepared to place your order with payment in full. It is very important to place your order on these dates to avoid a delay in receiving your graduation items. Sophomores and juniors wanting to take the citizenship exam early may now take it after school in the Media Center Monday through Thursday. See Mr. Williams or Mr. Klaus for more information. Advanced ticket sales are, for Friday's football game are on sale at the bookstore. Tickets are $6. This is a playoff game and no season, employee, or student athlete passes will be accepted. Tomorrow, Friday, November 3rd, there will be no parking in the reserved area until afternoon. Attention FBLA members. The Marketplace is now taking orders for your FBLA short shirts for this year. Come order your FBLA shirts, the Marketplace, or see Duane Bennett for your lunchtime. Prices will start at $10. Sales in November 10th. Lastly, ABA applications are now available at the bookstore. And now it's time for another installment of What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. We didn't get to run an entertainment installment last week, and we may not have any entertainment news next week. So we will also have another installment of Colonel Critiques after What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. Relax, don't you ask when you want to go to it. Hey, I'm Gage Johnson. And I'm Cage Hoswood. And this is yet another segment of What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. Before we start, we would like to say we are sorry for not having a segment last week. We know you really missed us. If you're a video game lover, some Viggy games coming soon are Red Dead Redemption 2, Need for Speed Payback, and the highly anticipated Sonic Forces. For you superhero fans out there, I'm sure you're all very excited for this month's upcoming movies such as the soon-to-be-released Thor Ragnarok coming out tomorrow and Justice League being released November 17th. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Are you a Swifty? Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, will released soon on November 10th, available on platforms such as Spotify, iTunes, and more. Also during the month of November, artists such as Maroon 5, Sam Smith, Kid Rock, and more will be released soon. Now, of course, Cage, we can't just end the entertainment segment without talking about Stranger Things, right? Ah, of course. How could we possibly not mention that? Last Friday, Season 2 of the critically acclaimed Netflix original series Stranger Things was, was released. Season 2 follows after the previous events that took place in Season 1 and further expands on the storyline of Stranger Things universe. If you haven't checked it out yet, we would highly recommend watching this. This has been What's the Rage with Gage and Cage. <laughs> Hi, I'm Isaac. I'm here for Colonel Cast. I'm here at the auditorium to talk to Tyler Alexander about our play for this for this semester. So, Tyler, what is the play? What is the play? Um, the play is basically um, it's centered around a collection of um, paintings, and it's giving every painting a backstory. It's not necessarily the actual backstory of the painting; it's just how the authors imagine it. Mm -hmm. So, what is the name of this play? It's called Snapshot. Huh, that's an interesting title for a name for paintings. Um, <clears throat> So what wanted, you, what wanted you to get be part of this play for this semester? Um, well, I've done theater since my eighth grade year. I did the high school musical when I was in eighth grade. Um, but I've, done, I've been in drama club since freshman year, and I've done every production since. And this, one, this one's actually even more intriguing than most of them because of how the plot is very different from most uh, productions. Yeah, it really is. Um, for, so like... So all right. Can you tell us a little bit about your role, you know, without spoiling the show, of course, for the upcoming audience? Um, my role, it's um, one very, very long monologue um, about um, my, uh, how I have not met my hopes and aspirations and how I'm not happy with my life, kind of, in a way. Right. 
but at the same time, I'm con I don't. It's very confusing. You'll just have to see the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably the fairest thing to say. Well, thank you, Tyler, for your time. I appreciate it so no much. I heard you were in tech. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm the assistant stage manager this year. Well, that's really good. So, um, what? So, what have you been doing so far for this show for tech? Um, we've been painting uh, backdrops and uh, building picture frames. Um, because our play is based around snapshots, um, and each act is a different snapshot picture uh, where it takes a picture and then the actors act out the scene. Well, that's really good. I mean, yeah. that's really awesome. Uh, so, what was what? What do you think about the show so far? And like, just do you think it's gonna be? Do you, will you enjoy it, or do you think people should go see it? Oh yeah, I I think it's really fun. I think um, we should have a lot of people come show up and see it. Um, I've really enjoyed working on it and uh, the actors have really enjoyed playing their characters. All right, well thank you, Tammy, for your time. That was really awesome. All right. Hi, I'm Isaac and I'm here with uh, Madison Alexander. Madison, so what got you into the being part of Snapshot? Um, well, I've been in drama club since freshman year and I just figured this was a really interesting show that I wanted to be a part of. All right, so um, what's your role? But please don't spoil anything for, the, you know, for anyone who wants to come and watch the show. My role is of a corporal businesswoman. Um, she's giving a speech to people who are not American on how to handle credit cards. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat. That's kind of a realistic take on like, uh, when people have to call for credit cards. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you, Madison, for your time. I appreciate it very much. Back to you guys. I'm Parker. And I'm Ava. We'll be reviewing Voltron, Legendary Defender. Yes, Voltron is meant for a much younger and more male audience. It's for eight-year-old boys. But it has appealed to a much not. larger audience than first anticipated. We actually have first-hand knowledge of this, that Mr. Fish watches it with his son. The show has gained the attention of girls, boys, and even adults who watched the shows when it first aired in the 1980s. Since then, Netflix and a group of animators have rebooted the show to fit a more modern set of standards. The show follows the five paladins of Voltron, Shiro Shirogane, Lance McLean, Keith Kogane, Pidge, Katie Gunderson, and Hunk Garrett, as well as the Altaian princess Allura and her advisor Karan, who lead and help them through being a paladin as well as a defender of the universe against the evil force Zarkon and the Galra Empire. No, Voltron is not a spinoff of Star Wars. Please stop asking. Despite being aimed at a young audience, the show actually holds a very interesting and dense plot. With the recent release of the fourth season, fans are going wild with theories concerning the surprising, but not really surprising, plot twists and turns. We did finally get to see a long-awaited reunion between the Holt siblings, Pidge and Matt, but we will have to wait for the fifth season in order to see what direction the show and Voltron is headed next. Hi, I'm Will Kyle, re reviewing with Fader Park Boys. The Trailer Park Boys is a Netflix-based Canadian cult classic comedy that is based on the stupid and funny lives of Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles, and Randy and Mr. Leahy. Julian, Ricky, and Bubbles are lifelong friends who all grew up in the of a sunny road trailer park. Mr. Leahy, Randy are always trying to bust Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles for their illegal activities. The show lasted seven seasons on its original Canadian-based network, but was revived in 2014 for season eight. Since its revival, Trailer Park Boys has spun multiple spin-off movies and even a, and even a touring stage show that I've personally seen. However, the future of the show has recently been put into jeopardy as John Dunsworth, the actor who played Jim Leahy, recently passed away on October 16, 2017, at the age of 71. Trailer Park Boys has said that they finished filming season 12, but are unsure if any future seasons will be made due to Dunsworth's unfortunate passing. I eventually... I, I, I personally recommend this show to anyone who likes lots of inappropriate and crude humor. Impractical Jokers is a true TV original hidden camera comedy reality show featuring four lifelong friends, Murr, Joe, Q, and Sal, who compete to embarrass each other. The four guys challenge each other to do crazy things in public, and if someone fails to complete a challenge, it's a thumbs down, and the person with the most thumbs down at, at an end of an episode must face a punishment, which is the worst challenge of the episode. In Practical Jokers is true reality television showing the guys' interactions in between and during challenges. You can really tell how close the guys are and how well they click with each other. The show is full of hilarious jokes and gags, and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants a good laugh. Hi, I'm Isaac Thatcher. I'm here to review the, te the new Netflix original series, Mindhunter. This show is great. Mindhunter is a show of two FBI agents in 1977. 
wanting to understand the psychology behind serial killers. Based off the book of the same name, Mindhunter shows on how age on how agents hold and forward. Okay. Was it too slow, too fast? I don't. I don't know. I think I was reading it a little too fast. That was my. That was. That was on my on my part. Okay. Do you want to do based off the book of the same name? No, just start from the top. All right. This show is great. Mindhunter is a show of two FBI agents in 1977 wanting to understand the psychology behind serial killers. Based off the book of the same name, Mindhunter shows on how agents Holden Ford and Bill Tinch interview infamous serial killers like Edmund Kemper, Richard Speck, and Jerry Burdos to get a better understanding of why serial killers behave and why they do the things they do. The chemistry between actors Jonathan Groff, and, who plays Agent Ford, and Holton McCallany, who plays Agent Tinch, helps you get invested in the story as well as give you the appropriate actions with the situation they are in. Overall, I highly recommend you watch the show, and I would give Mindhunter a 97%. Hey, I'm Seth Watkins. I'm reviewing the Walking Dead graphic novels. The graphic novels that the show is based off of are paced extremely well and have the perfect blend of drama, action, and lightheartedness. The comparisons between the show and the graphic novels can be drawn through the events of the show, whether it's through character deaths or just the dialogue of the show. And overall, from one to woe, I'd rate it. Whoa. My name is Caleb Denny. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Riverdale. Based on a comic named Archie, Riverdale is a show that has touched so many people's heart already. With the suspense, romance, violence, and mystery, I learned about this show from my mother, and I loved it ever since. From the mystery and violence, but not really the romance. There really isn't a main protagonist as they are sh showed equally, except for Archie, so if there ever was a main protagonist character, it would be Archie. I highly recommend this show. Hey County, I'm Isaac. I'm here to tell you about some sports. Last week, Henderson's varsity football team went up against Owensboro High School, but came up short in a 39-20 loss. Tomorrow night, we will go up against Meade County here at Colonel Stadium in our first playoff game. Here at Colonel Cast, we want to congratulate the volleyball team for winning the regional title against Caldwell County. Tomorrow night, they go, against, go up against Assumption. College football had a very exciting shakeup last week, last weekend, as the number two Penn State fell to the Ohio State Buckeyes, thirty-nine to thirty-eight, and TCU lost to Iowa State. Also, our Kentucky Wildcats football team took down Tennessee for the first time in Coach Stoops' career in a tumultuous twenty-nine to twenty-six victory. Isn't that impressive? The NFL has officially entered its ninth week, and here are the primetime games tonight: the Buffalo Bills take on the New York Jets. Sunday, the Miami Dolphins will take on the Oakland Raiders. Then on Monday, the Green Bay Packers will take on the Detroit Lions. The NBA has two games tonight. The Golden State Warriors with Steph Curry takes on the San Antonio Spurs. The LA Lakers take on the Portland Tra Trailblazers. Well, that's all I got for sports. Back to you, Jacob and Parker. Thank you for tuning into this quasi-driveling but always refreshing episode of the CCN. Be sure to tweet us if you have any tips on HCHS hauntings or conspiracies that we can talk about in Parker and Ava's cryptic cast. As always, we'll be back next time letting you know what's going on in your world. Have a great day, County. I'm Parker Hera. And I'm Jacob Latimer, signing out. It's November 2nd. I'm Parker Hera. And I'm Jake. <laughs> no! Please let me put it on my shoulder. Yes, Voltron is meant for a much younger and more male audience. Wait, we didn't Wait. introduce ourselves. <laughs> we didn't. We have. Okay. Are we saying we that together? No, that says P as in Parker. There's not even a single P in my name. <laughs> right there. We're, that's the title of our little segment yeah. thing, saying who we are and what we're doing, but we have to introduce ourselves like, hi, I'm Parker, hi, I'm Ava. This is clear, Parker. We do it every time. <laughs> okay. Wow. Clear, Parker. We do it every time. 
Okay. Wow. Sexy. Which one of us is going to say Voltron Legendary Defender? One of you. I'm Parker. It's, is it rolling? Yeah, sure. It's ready. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Since then, Netflix and a group of animators have rebooted the show to a... F man. Yeah. We might have to restart that whole thing because it was too slow at first and I was like, eh, it's real. Okay. <laughs> Flim flam, wop a beam bam. I ain't got dogs, but I've got ham. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. Trailer park, boys. Will is trailer park. Perfect. Yeah, I know. I told That's, you about that, Parker. That happens in the second right. episode. Okay. Truth. Plus, we all knew it was going to happen anyway, but... <laughs> I'm not going to... Flim flam off a of beam bam, I ain't got dogs, <laughs> but I've got ham. <laughs> Eat more chicken. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this quasi driveling, but always right, quasi, 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 quasi driveling. Quasi driveling. Quasi driveling. Quasi driveling. I want to say that. Quasi driveling. Okay. Sophomores and juniors wanting to take the citizenship exam early May, early, oh man, I thought I was talking about the month, May. <laughs> okay. Sophomores and juniors wanting to take the citizenship, sophomores and juniors wanting to take, <laughs> so sorry. Lastly, ABA applications are now available at the bookstore. <laughs> Why is it in all caps? <laughs> just to so scream it. <laughs> Can I just scream it? <laughs> No parking. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, ABA applications are now. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>